in my truck. So today we're going to be looking at a VAV box. Um, it's got electric strip heat, reheat, and it's uh, supposedly not working. So we'll see if the thermostat's just turned off, but uh, here we go. Okay, we're up inside the roof here. This is a VAV box. So this one looks like it's just an inline reheat and uh, damper control. So it looks like we got a couple of electric strips and there are a limit switch. So we're gonna test that limit switches or those limit switches, make sure that they are not tripped. Uh, however, I do see, okay, yeah. So the limit switches may be tripped because the contactors are not closed and those contactors are what control the, the uh, electrical strips. All right, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so first things first, make sure we have 24 volts. We do. So if these are closed, I should be getting no voltage between the two. And I got nothing. Right, let's check these two here. Got nothing. And I got nothing. So those are all closed. Check our yes, yeah, so our limit switches are closed. So that's not the issue. So something's preventing these from closing. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the limit switches aren't closed. I've reset it and still nothing. However, if I check between, so if I check between first stage heat, I got no call. Second stage heat, no call. So let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna look a little further. Okay, so we're at the VAVSD, so Make sure we're getting power. Yep, we got power. So we're gonna go ground to W1. So we're not getting a call. We're gonna check W2, no call. Okay, so we're manually calling for heat uh, for W1. Pressure, the uh, contactor closed, we're getting 11 amps. 11.8 amps so it seems to be working fine we're just not uh, we're not getting a call for some reason so we're probably gonna have to look at the um, at the building automation system see what's going on with it so um, yeah and we're back in my truck so uh, we got a VAV which is just vibrating as you can see it's making pretty loud noise and so it's pretty noisy and it's blowing cool air so we're gonna see what's going on so here we go turns out it's not the VAV it looks like it might be uh, this uh, this exhaust fan uh, let's take a look on this roof and see what we have okay so this is our fire corporate this one's actually just been installed not too long ago uh, I think in December actually this month but check this out Yeah, so we need any belts on this guy. Uh, so yeah, that uh, seems to be the issue. So we're gonna go back down and see if the noise stopped, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Cause that thing sounds terrible too. Might just check that one out just to be safe. Okay, so that's our issue right there. That's probably why the belt broke because it's not lined up perfectly. See, it's off by a little bit. So I think what's happened is there's a lot of strain right here and uh, it just caused it to fail. I mean, look at that, that's pretty bad. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah, right here. This is where the initial break happened, probably from it rubbing up on here on this. So anyway, I need to get a belt for this and see what's up. Okay, so I went ahead and eyeballed it and it's a lot better. So I just need to get a new belt on there. Okay, that's much better. It's not vibrating all crazy. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.